everyone. So today I am doing a tour of my scrapbook room or my craft room. Um, it is very small. It is actually the room that was meant to be our dining room, but we don't use it as a dining room. Um, it's not the most like fanciest or the most organized, but it's my crafting area, so it works for me. Um, it is right off my kitchen, so there's no doors, so we have to put a, um, baby gates to keep my son out. So if you, I'm going to turn you around slowly. It's right off my kitchen. You can see my very messy kitchen right there. And then, um, and then over there leads to the entryway to our house. So if I had to take a guess, I would say that my room is about 8 by 10 feet. Like I said, it's very tiny. Um, I'll try not to wiggle the camera too much, but I am doing this by hand, so hopefully it doesn't make you guys sick. Um, so let's just get started. So the very first thing you see when you come in is um, my desk. So my husband built this desk for me. He even made a little area where I can slip my camera into and fill. This is how I film all of my process videos. So on this first um, cubicle side, it's probably the most unorganized area of the room. Um, this little iris kit just holds um, one of my how to kill a kit with style kits that hasn't been killed yet. And then down here is all of my stamps, or are all of my stamps and my die cuts and stuff. And like I said, this area is not very organized. I don't use my stamps and dies very much. So this kind, this area has kind of been brushed to the side. I need to figure out something a little bit better. Um, I do have like the... So there are some of my dies. And I do have like the stamps and dies that go together, um, like in little separate baggies. And then um, this little bit that hangs off is um, just something I got at Daiso and it just holds all of my washi tape. And then down bottom is empty. And then this is my desk area that I actually work at. Um, right now, I just have my How to Kill a Kit with Style um, supplies that I'm working with right now. And then um, I have my, my adhesive gun. I have my bedazzler. Um, up here on the pegboard, I usually just hang some of the embellishments that I haven't opened yet. There are also some punches. I usually have my scissors up here, but I think my daughter stole them. <laughs> and in here is just enamel dots and bling. This one just holds like photo corners and paper clips and things. And then this one has um, needling threads and um, twine and stuff like that. I have my paper trimmer. Um, that usually stays on my desk because I'm always using it. And then um, over here in this little cubicle area, um, I have six by six and six by eight pads. I have stickers. Um, this holds like sticker sheets. It holds some of my thickers. Um, these are just some extra 12 by 12 stickers um, sheets. So that's what that holds. And then here I have all of my papers. This one holds um, just um, like loose papers, loose 12 by 12 papers. They are all sorted by company and by um, collection. This is the same, more 12 by 12 papers. These are all my 12 by 12 paper pads. And these are all cardstock. Um, it's cardstock and paper pads of cardstock. And then there's even some um, vellum in there. 
And then down at the bottom is just a little basket full of various things, mostly travel journals and um, little albums and doilies and just really random various things. Up top I actually have some of my some of my more favorite layouts hanging up and then I have this little um, fan that my husband brought, um, bought for me when he went to Thailand. I know it's uneven but that thing is such a pain to hang so it's going to stay like that because we can't figure out how to get it centered. Um, we'll have to work on that more. And then there's some more um, layouts. And then um, over here, I have my little um, tray, my little, I forget what they're called, but my little rolly tray. And in the first part of my rolly tray, I have all my oxide inks, my Copic markers, um, various little embellishments and um more these aren't um copic markers but they work just as good the chameleon markers um some watercolor pens some of my little um squishies for the oxide inks and then down on the second tier i have my happy planner another happy planner and some of my happy planner um sticker books and then all the way at the bottom are just um, extra um, like paper trimmers and my scoreboard and things like that. Moving on, I have this desk, this corner desk that you can see. I'm not gonna go through those drawers because it's honestly just a bunch of junk, <laughs> like printer paper and stuff. Um, but I do have my Sizzix and my Cricut. And I also have some um, Cricut pads, some cardstock that I keep on hand for cuts, um, my scrap basket, which is like overloaded with scraps. Um, this little bowl is just a bowl full of various things that I tend to grab for, like extra adhesive or um, my zig pen or my um, my white pen for faux stitching and foam dots. An extraordinary trash can. And then up here I just have one of my paintings that I've done um, along with a globe that I repurposed and painted and this is where I keep my layouts that are not in albums yet. So these are all finished layouts that I need to add journaling to and put in page protectors. Um, these are layouts that I haven't taken pictures of yet. And these are layouts that um, I haven't thrown away, but they're not, they're just layouts that just didn't work out. <laughs> they're like the discard pile. Um, so I'll probably take those and just see if I can make them something better or they will be trashed. And then this, I just keep layouts here that um, I have finished for the month that I haven't taken pictures of or that I need to put to the side for my um, month, my, you know, my monthly video that I do of my layouts that I completed that month. And then coming down, um, I have some cards that I've made and then I also have this little extra tool caddy that holds my ATG gun. I don't, now that I've bought that new adhesive gun, I don't use my ATG gun as much because it just keeps messing up on me and I can't figure out what's wrong with it and honestly the other adhesive gun is just so much easier. It's a little more expensive but I'm okay with that. Um, my heat um, my heat tool and back there is just some bone, bone folders and pencils and pens and various things. I have my um, picture mate printer. And then down here in these little caddies I keep embellishments. Um, for the most part they're sorted by um, theme. 
Um, some of them aren't as organized and sorted, but these little ones, they are all sorted. Like you can see, they have little sections in them. So like I have a little section for flowers, I have a little section for animals, and things like that. And then these embellishments are separated in baggies by what collection they, um, they go with. Like this is full of Kate and Ash um, embellishments. And then down at the bottom, I just have some extra little tops and stuff. And these are just extra punches. I have some scrapbook magazines. Um, down at the bottom, I have this um, box that just holds my extra adhesive and stuff. And then I have my camera bag um, for my Canon. So that's pretty much it. It's not a very big room. Like I said, I don't have a lot of stuff because we are living overseas. So um, I try not to hold on to too much at one time because we're going to have to move back to the United States at some point and um, shipping things is a pain. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pan around so you can see the whole picture of my room. So, and hopefully I did that slow enough that I didn't make you guys sick. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's not very much, but it is my room and um, I just love it because this is where I come to craft and relax. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Bye.